He is, of course, a professor of behavioral science and economics at the Booth School of Business at the University of Chicago. He is the co-author of Nudge. He is the guiding spirit behind the so-called Nudge Unit, the, the behavioral insights team that won so much fame advising <coughs> David Cameron and has since been spun out to advise other governments. Um, he wrote some of my favorite economics papers. He wrote an economics paper about deal or no deal, which I was um, talking all about to an audience of HR professionals only this morning. Uh, just spreading the gospel. I refer to the fictional creatures that habitat economics journals and textbooks as econs. Uh, these, these econs are really, really smart, as smart as the smartest economist, um, possibly even as smart as the smartest economist thinks he is. Um, they are... They have no emotions, perfect self-control. They weigh just the right amount. Um, they save just the right amount. And they're complete jerks. Not all interesting economics is behavioral. Um, but all behavioral economics is interesting. Exactly. <laughs> and um, so what is it? It's... It's economics that is, tries to incorporate how real people behave. Stupidity usually doesn't lead to fatality. The big stuff, mortgages, buying homes, uh, we don't get to do that often. Marriage, two, three times, you know. Uh, saving for retirement. Once, barring incarnation. Um, so, uh, Binmore was exactly wrong. That what standard economic theory gets rightest is the small stuff, the stuff that we practice. Here's the important thing it's much easier for you to make money by taking advantage of somebody's bias than by correcting it. There's this very, very famous graph, which you refer to in the book, showing all of the countries where people um, have to sign in to join the organ donor register, and how many people are on the register, and it's 10%, 15%. And then all the countries where you don't have to sign to be on the organ donor register, you have to sign to get off the organ donor register, and 98%, 99%, 100% of people are on the register. And I've heard many people say, and therefore, uh, if we want to improve organ donation, just put people on the register by default, and they can opt out if they want. So, you know, it's a classic, a classic nudge, classic piece of libertarian paternalism. Um, and that's actually not a very good idea. And right. I was pleased it's... that you covered it in the book. What I favor is an active program to get people to enroll, and my mantra whenever I'm working with the nudge unit is make it easy. Health and climate change, two of the biggest problems the world faces, are behavioral problems. And the solutions will have to involve a mixture of economics and behavior. 